If you're of a certain age group, basically in my demographic, I'm sure you heard the name Fashion Nova. Over the last few years, Fashion Nova has taken the fashion industry by storm. Without the aid of traditional advertisement, the fast fashion brand was the fourth most Googled fashion company in 2018, joining the ranks of luxury houses Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and Supreme during the height of their run, but at a fraction of those brands' prices. But how did it all happen so fast? How could a brand launched only eight years ago come along to rule the fast fashion industry? Well, let's find out. I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com and this is the Rise of Fashion Over. But before we get started, please take a second out and hit that like button for me. Liking and sharing the videos is the only way to get the YouTube algorithms to notice us and to suggest us to more people, which is the only way that we can continue to grow as a channel. We can't do it without you guys' help and I appreciate it. And the best part about it is it's free. But with all that being said, let's jump right in. It all started when Richard Sagan in 2006 opened a shop in Panorama Mall under the name Fashion Nova, selling club clothes for women. Richard had gotten into the game in the days pre-internet. And I mean, well, it wasn't really pre-internet, but the internet was just really becoming actually usable. And aside from MySpace, social media wasn't yet a thing. Richard was scratched out in a sea of mundane mall stores that you often found back in the day, finding it hard to really set his shop apart from all the others. But one thing that he had in his favor is that rather than sourcing his clothes from factories in China like many of the other brands did, he opted to source them directly from manufacturers locally in LA. This tactic helped him jump on trends fast and get them to market before the customer base moved on to something new. But it wasn't until Instagram exploded a few years later that the brand's reach began to grow exponentially. Richard created an Instagram page to promote his store, mainly by showcasing his best pieces on models. And it was pretty much slow going in the beginning, but suddenly shoppers began tagging themselves while wearing the stuff. Now, for any clothing brand, this is great, but Richard saw this as a life-changing opportunity. He leaned hard into this, posting several times a day, sometimes every 30 minutes, and utilized pictures from his everyday customers while courting inf influencers and celebrities. The brand gained such a following that girls started up a hashtag for when they posted pictures wearing the products online. Hashtag Nova Babes. But things truly blew up for Fashion Nova when then up and coming rapper Cardi B shouted them out on her page. All of this caused their following to increase when people's trusted friends and family were promoting Fashion Nova on their personal pages and with the help from Cardi B. By focusing on social media, Fashion Nova became the Instagram success that every fashion brand wanted to be. Most of the brand's ads were made by their influencers and celebrities, and even ordinary customers who posted to the hashtag NovaBabes. All the hard work would pay off in what seemed to be overnight, as Fashion Nova was now everywhere. Celebrities like Kylie Jenner, Amber Rose, Kourtney Kardashian, and Nicki Minaj were now promoting the line, and all of the hype was driving sales to an astronomical number. The appeal of the brand like Fashion Nova is more than just the low pricing. It's the ability to feel on top of the trend. Fashion Nova was able to capitalize on the social media wave. Richard noticed that girls didn't really want to be seen wearing the same club outfit when they went out. And this is where Fashion Nova stepped in. They provided cost efficient clothes at the cutting edge of trends. And as Richard acknowledged, quote, everyone wants to be a celebrity on social media and the hyper fast turnaround in sales at super affordable prices for with most pieces being under $50 allows the customer to post new and updated outfits to their page 
as frequently as wealthy celebrities who were gifted tons of merch to promote on their own pages were. Which is how Richard wins. He's found a way to make fast fashion even faster. Whereas traditionally, there was a reason that fashion came out corresponding with the seasons of the year. It took a long time. Old school brands had to design the stuff, then source the materials, then have them manufactured, often not in the same country that they were designed in. And once this was completed, the stuff had to be distributed to all of the stores and then stopped. The process took several months at best. But when fast fashion brands like H&M and Zara came along, they managed to cut this process time in half, hence the name, fast fashion. But Richard and Fashion Nova have gone one better. By utilizing local LA factories, sometimes up to a thousand of them, Fashion Nova has managed to get looks to the market quicker than ever before. However, many have been trashing fast fashion industries lately. And in some cases, rightfully so. There's countless stories out there of reckless manufacturing practices and horrible work environments, which definitely needs to be ironed out. But on the bright side, part of the benefit of manufacturing the stuff here in the States is at least you have more oversight over stuff like that. Fashion Nova's marketing strategy revolves around collaborating with high profile celebrities. However, their focus isn't only on top influencers, as they also join hands with several micro-influencers and their customer base. Fashion Nova's marketing strategy is built around an extensive network of influencers, which is something that Fashion Nova has kind of revolutionized. But how exactly? Getting several social media influencers to work on the same brand and towards the same single goal is not as easy as you might think. So what's the trick? These mega influencers usually have a large following and make fashion over posts that look no different from their daily content. The only thing that differentiates the content they create for fashion over is the outfit that they wear and the hashtags that they use. Sometimes these influencers provide a discount code in their caption for followers to use which helps track how many sales they're influencing. Word is they bagged $50,000 in extra sales in a few days off a single Kylie Jenner post. One of Fashion Nova's marketing strategies while using these celebrities is to make sure the photos that they're using are never professional. Instead, they're always unprofessional or mirror selfies. The goal is to show an authentic style and make the post look more natural and relatable to everyday people. Fashion Nova's marketing strategy views the influencer industry as a pyramid. There are four tiers and they divide influencers into categories. At the bottom of the pyramid, the first level is the quote, I know it group. This group is the largest. They are followers who only buy Fashion Nova because they know it. They also don't really follow trends, and their fashion style revolves around simply owning a piece rather than jumping on the latest fashion trend that they've seen somewhere on the runway or on social media. The next level is the quote, I like it group, the second largest on the pyramid. They're fans of the brand and continually post pictures depicting them wearing Fashion Nova's items. The I Like It group aims to gain a feature on Fashion Nova's platform. Fashion Nova's marketing strategy revolves around knowing that people need to be seen and validated. Therefore, they utilize this by allowing their customers to share posts and get attention from millions of people. They also encourage consumers to tag the brand on their photos and get featured on their page. Doing this helped Fashion Nova gain a group of loyal ambassadors for the good old free 99 at that. The third group is the I Love It group, which covers micro influencers. These influencers showcase fashion as their passion and wear Fashion Nova pieces to stand out. They usually have expertise in the topic and spend a lot of time promoting the brand, especially on social media. 
These groups typically receive free items from Fashion Nova in exchange for promotion. Lastly, we have the I Live It group. These are the mega influencers who best illustrate the brand's image and who they'd most like to have seen in the stuff. But a good deal of the brand's attention comes from their everyday customers, who even have the opportunity to become influencers themselves if they post fashion content on a regular basis and their posts do well enough. This mass scientist strategy has propelled fashion over to the top of the fast fashion industry and has netted an ungodly amount of cash for founder Richard Saggy, who is notoriously averse to interviews and has been mum on any exact revenue figures. But I'll just say the guy recently purchased the largest mega mansion in the state of California, which is only three that he owns in total. So yeah, looks like Fashion Nova has been doing pretty good. At the end of the day, they've got a great strategy. Use young hot e-girls to spread the gospel of their club clothes. Sounds brilliant. It reaches everyone. Guys for thirst trap reasons and girls for aspirational reasons. They've even branched out over the last few years and added a men's line and Fashion Nova curves for the more voluptuous ladies out there. And I don't know about you, but it seems like a winning strategy. But what do you think? Are you a fan of Fashion Nova? I personally didn't even know that they sold men's clothes until my girl put me onto it a little while ago. And once I checked some of them out, I gotta say, some of the stuff is pretty cool. Did you guys wear any of it? Let me know in the comment section. Also, if you made it this far, we hope that that means you liked the video, and if so, then don't forget to hit that like button for your boy. Liking and sharing these videos is the only way to help us to continue to grow as a channel. And if you want to be updated whenever we drop a new episode, then hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell. This way you will be reminded whenever a new video drops. But with that being said, I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com signing out. Until next time, peace.